Hi everyone, it's time to do the broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole that uh, people have been asking for. So I put it all together. Basically, we're going to take two heads of broccoli. We're going to chop the florets off and they're going to weigh about a pound. Uh, we're going to put those together with some cheese. We're going to use some of the cream of mushroom soup that I made earlier. If you haven't seen that, go on Facebook or uh, YouTube on my channel and you'll be able to figure out how to make that. And we're going to put it all together with some cheeses and some scallions, a little bit of onion, uh, and uh, just a whole lot of goodness. So let's get to it. I'm going to try to make it as quick and as painless as possible. What I've got here is a large pot of boiling water. And I've got about a pound of uh, broccoli florets. Um, just chopped up about two heads. I think the pound weigh, weighs about a pound for all the florets. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get them in the water here and blanch them. I'm going to wait until the water gets to a reboil. And I'm going to time it for about a minute. And as soon as that minute's up, I'm going to want to stop the cooking. I want to cool them down. So to that, what I'm going to do is add it into an ice water bath. And that should stop the cooking altogether. Because it is going to cook some more in the casserole dish. Now the next ingredient is going to be for the soup. I've got some onion. I've got some mushrooms, about 20 ounces. And I reduced them all down and kind of simmered them together with some garlic. And after I mix that up, I put a little bit of thyme in and then some black pepper and then I thickened it with some flour and I cooked that off for about a minute so I added some sherry and uh, let that kind of reduce and cook through six cups of broth I used the beef broth and then I just kind of let it reduce down for about 20 minutes put half of it in a blender and pureed it up poured it back in added some cream and that was it pretty perfect and there you had your soup over here I've got about three three and a half almost four cups of our mushroom soup that we made and if you missed that go back to my YouTube page and look up mushroom cream of mushroom soup and you'll find a recipe you can use canned but I really don't recommend it. Not if you want this to be a showstopper. So to that, I'm going to add, and, and don't, don't fault me for this, about 8 ounces of Velveeta cheese. Now, Velveeta is, you know, who doesn't like it with some Rotel peppers and onions and as a dip with salsa. But this whole recipe is going to call for about a pound of cheese. And so I'm doing a half pound right now in the soup. And I'll show you the rest as we go along. But you want to melt this all together. And just make it extra yummy. Broccoli's been going for about a minute. So we're going to shut that down. And I'm going to take it out of there. And I'm going to drop it right into an ice bath. This is where it all comes together. So I'm going to take that broccoli that we cooked and then cooled. And I'm going to put it right in there. And to that, I'm going to add about two cups, maybe 16 ounces of cooked steamed rice. On top of that, I'm going to add about eight ounces of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Whew. 
I'm also going to add about a handful of onion because I like it. This is optional. You don't have to do this. And some green scallions. I would say I'm going to add about a quarter cup. And I'm just going to slice them really thin. And to that, we are going to add the mushroom soup, uh, almost three and a half cups with the melted Velveeta in it. And we're going to spread that right over the top. Wow, that's amazing. A little bit of black pepper. Just a little bit of sea salt. And we're going to blend that all together. So well, here I have a large casserole dish that I've sprayed and I'm just going to put all of this goodness right in there. Wow. Now remember we're only going to eat a portion of this so, yes, the cheese and the fat and everything else, but portion is everything. Remember that. So we're only going to have a small portion. To this, I'm going to add just about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Just kind of evenly distribute it just to dusting. Now again, this is optional, but in memory of my mom, I'm going to throw on some crushed Ritz crackers. Not a lot, just a thin coating. This is a big casserole, so. I think it's about maybe a half a sleeve that I put on there. And we are ready for the oven. The oven is already preset for 375 degrees. And uh, I'm going to drop it in there and I'm going to bake it uncovered for about 20 minutes. And at the end of the 20 minutes, I'm going to increase the temperature to 425 and I'm going to bake it for another 8 to 10 minutes until it's nicely browned on the top and bubbly and then I'll take it out. Well folks here it is out of the oven. It is golden, crumbly, bubbling around the edges and it's just going to be one hot dish of loveliness. <laughs> it's just going to be so good. So I'm not going to try it only because it's going to be so hot but I am going to have it for dinner tonight along with some uh, filet mignon and some uh, roasted little baked potatoes. And I will post a picture of that tonight on uh, uh, the Facebook page. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. hope you try it. And with the holidays coming up, you're going to love it. Absolutely love it. So thanks for watching and please let me know what you think.